Hey, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. The time is short. Our Lord is at the door and, and call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Oh, praise you, my Lord, my Savior, our Savior, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel from the madness that's happening in Great Babylon and bringing this evil, wicked, wicked kingdom down and establishing your kingdom built on your laws, your righteousness, and your spirit. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at this time. I'm gonna get this scripture here. This is uh this is Matthews, Matthews 24, verse 33. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Now, what is all these things? All the wars that's happening in the earth. We're going to focus on the war that's going on down in the Middle East right now. Because what's happening in the Middle East is going to quickly spill on over here to Great Babylon. America, okay? Now you got all the nations. And this is, this is, that's why prophecy is so important. Akim. You know, this is, the prophecies are extremely important because... That's the GPS to the second coming of our Lord. So he said, when you see these things, this was our Lord speaking, happening, know that he's even at the door. Now, when you go into this word door here, right? In the Greek, let's click on this word. Door. Right, this is the Greek for it. Strong's G 2374. Thura. Thura. Okay. Now, door. Let's go down to the Strong's. Strong says a door, right? A portal or entrance. Now, when you go into, because what the Lord is opening up is the portal or the entrance to the kingdom of heaven. Now, when you go into this word portal, is a door, right? It's like you don't know why that just happened. Okay. Ugh. It says, a portal is a large or imposing gate, a doorway. So the Lord said, when we see all these things happening, know that a gate, a doorway to the kingdom is opening. So while the world is about to go crazy for what's about to happen, and this thing is happening, and it's going to happen on all fronts. That's why when you, when you go into revelations and it's all making sense, man, this is why the Lord said this here. It is all making sense. It's get, it get clearer and clearer every day. When the Lord said this here, this is uh, Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, you see the title, the 144 sealed. With everything happening, that means these 144, call Yahweh, Basham, part of that number, is sealed. They will have to be for everything to be popping like this. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds, which represents destruction, Isaiah 51 and 1, of the earth. And the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So the four winds cover the north, the south, the east, and the west. That's basically the whole globe. And if you're paying attention, 
This is only for those of the household of faith. The whole world is going through this. This is a worldwide event because we are in the changing of the times. We at the gate, we at the door, we at the portal. So when you see all these things happening from the four winds from all around the globe, know our Lord is extremely close because the winds that we read about here in Revelation 7, the destruction is no longer being held back by the angels. So the Lord is putting in that work. So when you go into this word portal again, which represent, because remember the Lord said he's at the door, he's at the portal, a portal. You're likely to find a portal in a castle, right? Or a cathedral, or even in an internet site. Portal can be used to describe other types of doorways. So what the Lord has opened now is a doorway, a doorway to what? Let's get um let's get let's get second address. We on a doorway to the kingdom of heaven. Which means we're entering into Jacob's blessing with the departing from Esau's blessing, and now we're entering into Jacob's blessing, which consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians throughout North, Central, South America, and around the four corners of the earth. This is this is the door. This is second Ezra six and nine. For Esau, which is the so called white man, starting through top elites, is the end of the world. So you're the end of this side. This door, this side, and remember, the Lord got the keys to shut and open these doors. So the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is shutting your door, Esau, and he's opening up another door. For Esau is the end of the world in the eon sense, which is the age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So as this door is closed, because remember, let me bring you back here. Remember, the Lord says, so likewise ye, when you see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. What? Jacob's blessing. We're now coming into the birthright. Akim. We're now coming into the birthright that was given from the heavens to Jacob and to his seed seeds. We're now coming into that birthright of rulership and that blessing that goes with it that was given to us in a, in a dramatic sense. The Lord worked it out with, with dramatics when you go into it from, when you read it from Genesis 25 through 27. The Lord worked out a, a, a nice program on the earth between Esau, Jacob, Rebecca and Isaac, man. He did a beautiful work. And that's played out for thousands of years all the way up to now, 2023 AD. And all the prophecies that's in between that you read about in Daniel 2 and Daniel 7 had to take place all the way up to now. And now we at the end of Esau's door in the beginning of Jacob's door. And it's a portal that's being opened. That's why when you look in the sky, there was a, 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 a cloud that represented a portal over New Jersey the other day. And I witnessed it myself coming down 78 East. I seen it. And then somebody called it and sent it to a news channel. I forget which news channel. Y'all can pull it up because this is fresh. It was a few days ago. And then they reported it. That looked like a portal was coming from the sky. So now that's what we enter into. Jacob's blessing and Jacob's blessing consisted with the cleaning of planet Earth. And that's going to be done with that thermonuclear destruction and those chariots, man. That's the time we come into. So as we look at World War Three on the rise, the MOTB, the weather is out of control. Tell me the Lord and the UFOs are not working through these uh, these clouds, these hurricanes, these tornadoes, these volcanoes. The Lord is picking up the speed with the weather, man. That's why the UFOs are here. Those are the chariots, the vehicles, the riding mobiles of the angels if they choose to ride in them. 
because they don't need them. They can they can they can use their angelic powers, but they can use those vehicles to travel through the universe. So the Lord said he's at the door, meaning he's at the changing that gate. And when we get to that gate, we're instructed on how to walk. Now that we know that there's a gate that's open for the elect. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know, because that door, that entrance represent this gate here. Matthew 7. Right. This is Matthew's seven and uh uh let's see here that's three okay this is matthew seven and uh 13. this is the narrow the narrow when you go into a narrow that's a tight space that's a tight space a tight squeeze that only one person can walk at a time that's why this thing is so serious even though you camp together with your co-worker your laborer in this truth at the end of the day you trying to get through this entrance that finds you. Remember, this door finds you. You don't find this door. This is an invisible door. That's why people can't believe in the new world to come. Because all they see is this door here. This gate. They don't see the other gate. It's too small. And that gate can only be found by the elect. So this is Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. This word straight is going to difficult because it's a difficult gate and it's difficult to find because it finds you. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So there's another gate that people flow to because it's easier to find. That's the world. That's living your life. That's out here committing adultery. You're in the Skittles movement. You're fighting. You're robbing. I mean, you're just living according to your sensual flesh. That's this world. So many be for this world, but few be for the world to come. Second Ezra is eight. So it says um, in, in, in Slakia, if there's a glare, let me see. I'm going to shut this off here. I got a, I got a glare on this phone, man. Salakia. Yeah. It says, um, it says, enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thither. But straight is the gate, or difficult is that gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth into life. And few there be that find it. Now, when you go into this word, um, this Matthew 7 and 13, when you go into this word, find it because you don't find the gate, it finds you. This is Matthew's um, 7 and 14. In a second, let's click on that word find. This is, this is the Greek for the find. Strong's G, 2147. Hurisco. Hurisco. Right, to find, right? It says, uh, after searching to find a thing sought without previous search, to find by chance, to fall in with. So this gate, this door, you find it by chance. It's like you just fell upon a bag of money, man. Like you just tripped up in the store and hit the uh, mega ball. That was just your chance, your luck, your lot. So this gate finds you. You don't find it. We was just walking, minding our business. We in Babylon too. We live in accord, according to the course of this world also. And then the Lord, boop, he plucks us out. And now we get a taste of that kingdom. We don't want to let them go. We want the Lord to keep us until the very end. But there's only a few, few that find this gate. Because the kingdom of heaven will be reborn again through the elect. And when you go into this word few, right? Let's go into this word few. It says, uh, let me see here. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way 
which leadeth unto life and few when you click on this word few strong's g 3641 oligos oligos which is little small few in number multitude or quantity or size that's the remnant man that's the remnant because the remnant is what's left over Rom uh, Romans 11 and 7 Romans 11 and 7 let's get it real quick All right because this is only for the house of faith man, the house of mourning the elect the eclectos okay when you go into that's why the people in the world are dizzy man you're looking for answers but they won't find it because the answers are not trying to find them this is Romans 11 verse 7 what then israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for but the election that's that few have obtained it and the rest were blinded the rest won't find this gate they won't find this portal man that lead to salvation the path they on is on the path of destruction they gonna suffer through everything that's happening right now with the world because they're going about their lives. They're living their lives. They, they're caught up in their dreams. Not checking out the news. Not paying attention to the fall of the economy. Not looking at the food supply drying up. Everything going cashless. The minds of the children. The children are like animals. There's no peace in your own household. Everybody's drugged up. You're living off GMO food. Should, should, should we go on? They don't even see the world that they love and care so much for collapsing before their eyes because the Lord has blinded them. Going back to Isaiah 6, that's the angel he got on them. But for the elect, for us, the hopeful elect that see it, the Lord pulled the blinders off and he put us on the road, on a path that leads to salvation. That's that door. That's that portal. So bringing it back to Matthews, once again, when the Lord said this here, Matthews 24, and we're going to get to this video real quick. You know, quick, quick vid. So when the Lord said this here, Matthews 24, let's read it. In. Let's see what the NLT say. Matthew 24 and 33. In the same way, when you see all these things, you can know his return is very near right at the door man right at the door and that's what we looking for our lord why they going crazy we looking for the lord yahweh Shah to rescue his elect but this things are turning up man this um this vid right here right this is from um this is from paul begley you know that we're gonna listen to what he got to say as you can see the title thousands australian troops head to the middle east so this is beautiful man this is beautiful when the lord said gather the heathen tell the heathen to come on down to the valley come on down to the middle east for the judgment man Yahweh Shapat. So the Aussies are on the move, okay? Uh, thousands of Australian troops filling up C-130 Hercules planes are headed to the Middle East. It's not just that. They're also sending some uh, heavy equipment, some, some supplies, some different types of stuff militarily for, it looks like, for support. Uh, but they're definitely sending troops. Troops are already on the planes. So the Aussies are on the move. You know that the the Americans, of course, we have battleships, we have warships in the Mediterranean, in the Persian Sea, and also in the Red Sea, in the Persian Gulf, and the Mediterranean, and the Red Sea. And then, of course, even some of the Europeans are making a listen for support. But they're definitely sending troops. Troops are already on the planes. So the Aussies are on the move. You know that the the Americans, of course, we have battleships. 
We have warships in the Mediterranean. That's a major part. That's a major sea in the Mediterranean. The Persian Sea. The Persian. You don't see what the Lord is doing? Then it's the Mediterranean, the Persian. And also in the Red Sea. The and in the Gulf. Red Sea. Which and goes into Joel too. He's going to remove the northern army to a barren and desert land, which is down in the Middle East, towards the Red Sea and the Euphrates. And don't forget the South China Sea now. So basically, all heavy artillery, like Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah tell you, was it Jeremiah 50 and 25? The Lord has opened up his armory, man. Everything is out because everything is on display. Mediterranean and the Red Sea. And then, of course, even some of the Europeans are making a couple moves out there, moving some troops around. I know the UK is too, but, but the Aussies have announced that they're sending troops. So that's, uh, that's good to see, all in support of Israel. What's bad to see is what's going on in the United Nations. Uh, Antonio Gutierrez, now, I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> they supporting those small hats down there, not knowing that the Lord is closing Esau's blessing from the top. And it's um, a reason why he got to put Amalek out there for this, because the Lord say the least of the flock shall draw him out, man. So, hey, Australia is in, man. You knew they was going to get in, but they in. So we, we like days away from, you know, this thing really like heating up, which means how close are we to the mandatory implantation of this MOTB? Remember, this is the year of all prophecies being fulfilled. And if you've been checking out these months, we got what, two months, these past 10 months, have not the Lord sped this up in the last half of this year? For every prophecy is laid out on the table. Now, the, all the Lord got to do is move into a checkmate. So if you know about chess, you know you got the board master. So the enemy is surrounded. You just toying with him. <laughs> you just toying with him before you give him that checkmate. And that's what the Lord doing right now. He's toying with these people, man, because everything is laid out. <laughs> Even what's going on with the with this border crisis, the Lord is bringing these people in here for judgment, man. And everything is backfiring on E2 because he don't know the Lord is controlling him. So the Lord got him thinking he going one way and then he quickly switches it up and, and, and causes another thing to happen. So they are puzzled, man. This is Joel 3, verse 3. As a matter of fact, let's get right to the point, man. Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Simple as that. And that's what we see. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares, which is these farming tools, into swords, which are weapons, missiles, and your pronging hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen. Australia represents the heathen. And gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down. Those are the holy angels. Let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat in the Hebrew, which means the Lord judges. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. We in the time of the final judgment, the statue that Daniel saw in the second chapter. We at the toes, which represents the EU and NATO, and the structure, the beast structure, which includes America sitting on top of that beast with the seven heads and ten horns. And now the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is bringing everything down. Now, as this statue falls, there was a stone that hits this statue, which represents our Lord Yahweh Shah. That stone grows and grows and takes over the world. So the kingdoms of the earth has now become the kingdoms of our Lord. That's what we're seeing right now, man. 
That's what's happening. That's why these prophecies mean so much. Because it's like, i popping, man. <laughs> this thing gets clearer and clearer every day. Call all y'all, Bashim Yahweh Shah. The while I'm very grateful for my apostles of Great Millstone that he put in my life, in your life. Be, be grateful for the men that he used to you to engrave the word within you, man. That engrafted word is in us through those men, man. The Lord chose those men out of all the chaos that was going on in one west at the time. The Lord chose those men, man, those four men, and brought them out. And we standing on a foundation, you know, that they continued on with. And now we continue on and we got the eyes out, but we can see correctly because the spirit is on us, but we still need direction. You can say the spirit is on you, but you still need direction. Just like any young student coming to learn karate, you know, UFC, boxing, whatever, you got the talent, but somebody got to show you how to place your feet, how to hold your hands, how to move your head, how to grapple. And that's what our apostles do. You know, we got the spirit, but they got us and call Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Everything was set up in the spirit. And now the door to closing and the door to the kingdom, to Jacob's birthright, is now opening. And that's why the elites are going crazy because they know it. We about to walk into this birthright, which consists of the first 15 verses in Deuteronomy 28. When you go to Deuteronomy 28 from 1 to uh, 15, there was nothing but blessings upon blessings upon blessings for the nation of Israel, man. The former and the latter reign, both of those are blessings upon blessings, man. And that's what we about to come into. So that's why the world is shaking up, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashib Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakahak Wadash, the Wala Abba Yahweh, the Wala Abba Yahweh Shah, for the Asal, man. May you keep me, me, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, keep every sincere Akim out there. Because this thing is moving and time is short. It's moving fast. And it's a very exciting time. You can't even get sleep out here, man. Who wants to sleep? <laughs> man, we sleep in the kingdom, man. This is an eye opening. Hey, as I'm talking, alert just came through right now. You know? So we're going to end it right there, man. You know, very exciting. Akim, stay on your watch. You know? Can't wait to get out to camp tomorrow. Burning it up. Time is short. The famine of the word is on its way. Shalom.